and welcome back to Python Lessons on Code Academy. So today we're going to be starting a new section where from what I see is quite a lot easier than the previous section and it's talking about working with grades or a list of numbers. So let's see how it goes. Our first task is just to hit save and submit to continue so let's do that. Um, okay. So define for our first actual task, we need to define a function on line three called print grades. Um, okay, with one argument called grades. Inside the function, iterate through grades and print print each item on its own line. So to do this, we just do what it says, and then we print n. Uh, if we want to print it on its own line, then we don't put a comma after it. If we did want to print it in its own line, then we put a comma after it. So, let's see how it goes. Oops. Oh, we actually, after a function, we need to call it. So, let's do that. We can just copy this, and it should work. There we go. So, let's move on. Okay. Another just click save and submit to continue. So we'll do be doing this whole section in this one video. Okay, so what do we need to do? Ooh. Wait, what happened? <laughs> I don't know what happened. So let's see, uh, save and submit code. Um, there we go. So now that we have this, oh no, we don't have this, never mind. Um, sorry about that. Now we need to make a new function which is going to get give us the sum of all of the numbers. So we need to define a function called grades sum that takes in score a list of scores, computes the sum of the scores, so let's just do sum scores as our rolling variable. Then we will just look through the whole list by using a for loop and Oops, we need this and add on each value of from the list onto some scores. I think that we've done this a lot of times, so I don't think that this actually needs an explanation. If you want explanation, then I think check out the last video, it has something similar to it, except it's with multiplication uh, or some of the previous videos that have something similar to this. Then we need to return this sum scores and then we need to print what this function is going to return. So let's do that. Oops. Um, this is supposed to be grades actually, not scores. There we go. So let's move on. Now we need to define a function average, which has so grades average is uh, the name of our function which takes in one argument called grades that's simple enough calls grade sum with grades okay because we already made this function so why not make use of it I guess and computes the average of the grades by dividing that sum by float length of grades so are we supposed to actually store this as something or not uh, calls grade sum with grades computes the average of the grades no so I will actually just call this sum scores just for convenience and then make um, average to be yeah I will make average to be whatever is grade sum divided by the length of our grades list which is going to give us the average, so and then return average. Then we just need to print what this function gives us with the uh, argument grades. Oops, something is wrong. Um, global name scores is not defined. I think that we can just make that grades actually. Nope. <laughs> return five instead of the expected five point. Oh, right. It's we're we need to make this a float so it gives us float numbers not just um, integers 
it should work now yes it does so okay let's explain this function because it might not make that much sense we enter the function with grades so with this list and then some we call some scores so this function which calculates the sum of all of the scores in this list and store uh, that uh, under some scores then to calculate the average we divide all of the all of those scores added together divided by the number of scores that there are there are so the length of grades and we store that as average because it is the average then we return average and average is apparently 80.4 rounded to the to one decimal place so hopefully that makes sense if it doesn't as i've said before many times please ask in the comments and i will do my best to explain so for now let's just move on so okay there's nothing we need to do here let's go on the variance um on line 18 define a new function called grades variance that accepts one argument scores oops that's not how you spell scores uh, which is a list first create a variable called average and store the result of calling grades average scores under it good next create another variable variance okay and set that to zero We'll be using this as a rolling sum. Then we can just literally copy out what it's saying. For each score in scores, compute its squared difference and add it to variance. So, oops, I actually wanted to copy it. Variance plus equals and average minus score squared. I don't actually know what variance is, I'm just going to say it. <laughs> but it wants us to do it so it it's self-explanatory or not self-explanatory it the task is well explained so we don't need to worry about knowing what variance is so we can just pretty much do it easily then we need to divide the total variance by the number of scores so variance i'm guessing uh divide equals score number of scores so length of scores I think then return the result of variance return variance finally after our code we need to print grades variance and grades so let's see if this was correct yes it was so what this function does let's explain it we call average which calls sum and does all of those things and we pretty much get the average of that list which is as we said I think 80.4 and then we store variance as zero then we go through our scores or grades list in this new function and for uh, and we add on to it uh, the average minus the score so average was 80.4 minus 100 is going to be what minus 20 ish and then we square that so we get 400 at first variance is 400 and that goes on until we get to 50.5 where v average is going to be again 80.4 but score is going to be 50.5 so we get 29 ish and we square that we get something like 800 and some and 90 something i think if my math is correct and then once we we're done listing through those and adding it to variance we divide variance by the length of scores and store it under variance and we just return variance and then at the end we print what the result would actually be so let's move on standard deviation um okay <laughs> let's remove this define a function called grade standard deviation deviation or deviation mm, I don't know I think it's deviation right correct me if I'm wrong then we need to return the result of variance to uh, square root of variance variance to the power of 0 0.5 after the function create a new variable called variance okay and store the result of calling grades variance grades 
under it. Finally, print the result of calling create standard deviation with the argument variance. Okay, so that was pretty simple. Hopefully, it's correct, and it is. So let's move on. Uh, then at the end, we just need to print out all of the following, all of the grades. So uh, we don't have a oh we do have a function for that actually, so we can just actually copy the name of this function and give it the argument of grades. And we actually need to print it, so I need to put print before it. There we go. Then we need to print the sum of grades which we also have a function for there we go then we need to print the average grade there we go we can copy it and paste it down here then print the variance and that should be fine and print the standard uh, deviation which is here there we go copy and paste and that's fine so this was actually pretty easy to do compared to the previous task which actually took me a lot longer. So if you have any questions please do ask in the comments. If you like this video then please like this video, share, subscribe if you would like to see more of these kind of videos. Uh, if you didn't like the video then do pr uh, click the dislike button and tell me why you didn't dislike why you disliked the video so that I can improve for next time and maybe you can like it next time. So until next time, thanks for watching and goodbye.